Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Many times you can't leave these set too long. Now the old carburetors gum up on them from this gas you get nowadays versus the old red gas we used to get. Uh, gaskets shrink up on them and various things. But as you can see, this one will start okay. I'm Kelly Shoemaker from California, Missouri. This is my 1951 Super C. Super is right. No wonder this beauty was chosen to be Miss September on the 2001 Classic Farm Tractor calendar. But being on a calendar was the last thing on Kelly's mind when he laid down his money and first bought the Super C. I basically just wanted a usable tractor. It would start and run, you know. That's what I got. One more thing Kelly got when he bought his Super C was a sweet little stroll down memory lane. Well, I've always liked uh, Super C's because that's the first tractor I ever drove. Well, I grew up in a small farm community and mostly the first tractors that anyone had were two plow tractors, which of course is what the Super C is. My uncle had a Super C and, and uh, that was basically the first tractor I, I drove as a child when I was 12 years old. Before it went and got itself all dressed up, the Super C of Kelly's was a darn good workhorse. This tractor got a pretty good workout done various chores around here at one time. We used it here uh, to pull wood out of the woods with, we pulled a hay wagon to the barn, and in fact this tractor mowed several acres here for seven foot mower on it. It was Kelly's old buddy, Lee Schmidt, who first recognized the bright, shiny showstopper trapped inside the old workhorse's body. Lee began working his restoration magic. And as you can see, Lee does a fantastic job of sandblasting and painting. And Lee Schmidt's attention to detail is second to none. This tractor has front and rear wheel weights. Many of them don't have the front wheel weights as they are becoming harder and harder to come by nowadays. And then as you can see it has the right radiator cap on it. And I think it's really nice the way he's got this screen all put in here real straight and neat. It has the correct rubber boots on the brakes here. So many of them are uh, have become hard and rotted out, gone. It has the correct uh, headlights here. Uh, has your silver seat. Uh, this is your uh, hydraulic temperature gauge, which you hardly ever see them that nice. Uh, and this is your uh, touch control, which is your uh, lift for up and down your draft. Uh, of course, this is your choke and your starter control. And this is your throttle. And then one other thing here I forgot to mention, it does have the hand crank here for if uh, for any reason it would ever fail to start, you can hand crank it. The Farmall Super C outsold the regular Farmall C by over 10,000 units. Talk about new and improved. It had more horsepower. It had a 123 engine, whereas the C had a 113. More horsepower and a cooler running engine, too. Uh, they figured out when they was plowing that uh, if they'd get a bigger radiator on, they'd run cooler, so the Super C has an inch and a half taller radiator on it. Uh, give it uh, two more quarts of capacity. And with an 18-inch steering wheel instead of the regular C's smaller 15-inch wheel, the Super C was a whole lot easier to drive. Uh, they just kept making the tractor more and more user-friendly. What do you want to do this weekend? Well, I guess go to a tractor show or something related to that. Well, that'll be fine. Now that's a married couple that knows how to have a good time. But Kelly and his lovely wife Mary do more than just go to tractor shows. This past Saturday while we loaded the Super C up on the gooseneck over and hauled it into California and rode it in the Montauk County Fair Parade. And uh, uh, when the parade was over, uh, they notified me I won the blue ribbon here that my wife is bringing up here. Here's the ribbon. Thank you. As sweet as the 51 Super C is, it is not the only classic in the Shoemaker barn. Well, I just have just finished uh, putting together an engine on a 48 model C, uh, and we get it out Sunday afternoons, ride it around, you know, keep the engine in shape there. And what's this? A green tractor in the Shoemaker stables? Well, I'd always wanted an MT John Deere since that was what my father had, and I did stumble across one with my son-in-law this past uh, here and purchased it. If you'd like to hear it run, we'll fire it up here.
That, isn't that a really sweet sounding engine? That makes three sweet sounding engines at Kelly Shoemaker's place. And if the Farmall C and the John Deere MT come out half as nice as Kelly's Farmall Super C, you can bet we'll be saying next time we're in Missouri, California, here we come.